Hello friends, this is Pankaj and you are watching AM Tutorial. In my last video, I talked about internationalization and what are the steps to achieve internationalization in AM. And in this video, we will exercise to internationalize the copyright statement on the footer of a website. So let's go to the website. So go to the site console. And here we have this website VTrain. Let me open this English page. So now our footer looks like this and we will replace this I18 encoded content text with some other text and we will also see how that text will look like in the French. So this is our French page and I will also use German text. So I will create a one more one more page for German. So let's click here and let me create a page here for German. Click on page, select this template, click on next. So for German language, the language code is D, so name it D and the title will be keep it German. Now click on create, click on done. So a new page has been created which is called German. Yeah. Now let's go to the CRXD console and here I'm within the apps I have this training project. Now here go to the components and go to the structure. This is my content page where I have this footer.html. So I will create an 18n folder here. Depending on the scope, you can create an 18n node within the training period also. And uh, if the scope will be a component specific, then you can create within a, within the component also. So my scope is for this footer file. So I'm creating within this content page. So right click here. Now click on create, create folder, name it i18n. Click on OK. Now save it. Now the first step is done. We have this i18n folder. Here is the properties for this. Under this folder, we will create one more folder having the name of language code. So we are creating fr, en and d. So right click here and go to create. Click and create one more folder and name it en click on ok and here we need to add two properties so click on mix in and click on this plus sign here write mix colon language click on ok so you can see one property has been added of mix in types and the value is mix colon language and the second property we need to add jcr language so come here and write jcr colon language and name it en click on add click on save so we have added jcr language here now within this node create a child node create click on create node and here i am naming some text uh, as message it can be any name and the type would be sling message entry this is the third step. Click on OK. Click on Save. Here add the two properties. First property will be sling colon key. And I'm giving a name it copy. The key could be anything. Sorry. Let me name it copy. Save it. And uh, add one more property sling colon message. This is the copyright statement. Click on it. Now save it. Two more. Now create two more. So copy this and within ITN node paste it and name it French. So for French we have language code FR. So name it FR. And within this FR, we have mix in type, mix language, and uh, change this language code to FR. Save this. And in the message, we have this key. The key would be same. And the message, this message should have text in the French language. 
so let me copy this and change this to the French word so go to the Google translation so select the language as English and here select the language as French now paste the text and copy this text this is the French word and paste here and save it now same procedure we need to do for German language so copy this helper folder and paste within the ID and note and name it as a DE which or which is a language code for German language and within this DE change the language code from FR to D save this and within the message key would be the same and we need to change this message sorry I need to delete this message English word so from the FR delete this English text save it and go to here copy this and go to the translation and uh, change it to German language so copy this text of German language sorry go here and paste here so now we have this key and we have three values in EN, D and FR language save this now go to the footer.html and delete the content of footer and go to here my it is my github repository you can find this link this is the open repository so you can find this link in my description below go to the developer course now here go to the chapter 12 internationalization go to the footer.html copy this content and paste the and paste the content here so the text is almost same as the previous one the only change is that we have this line and here what I am doing we have this link key which I had named copy and this i18n specifies the key name it specifies that the string is an i18n key so it is the i18n key and uh, let me delete this I am not using this and save it now go to the site and open your English page and also open our French page and the German page let's see if the text has been changed or not first go to the English let's check so this is the copyright statement we got this text in English and in the French we have the text yes we got this text in French and in the German also we can scroll down and you can see the text in German also so this is how you can follow the three steps which I had given in my last video and you can achieve this internationalization in different languages and if you enjoyed this video subscribe my channel like this video and share this with your friends thanks again for watching